What is up, Guru Nation? Welcome back. Yet another biotech stock video. You know, I keep trying to save these for uh, our other channel, the Clinical Research Circle, but we have so many that we're looking at on the Clinical Research Circle. Um, so everybody go to the Clinical Research Circle and subscribe. Um, we, we do one video, like a long video every week, link underneath the show notes to the Clinical Research Circle channel. Um, but one of the stocks I want to talk about right now, and full disclosure, I bought some this, uh, this afternoon, AGTC, okay, Applied Genetic Technology Corporation. I'm going to share my screen right now so you can see. All right, the stock right now is uh, 590 after hours, 620. Now it's back to 590. Let's check the uh, Robin Hood to see what it, what it actually is right now. For those watching in the future, it's February 11th. Uh, 2021. Let me quit my mail app so we don't show people's emails coming through because we're still working right now, guys. We're still working. Um, so right now on Robinhood, and this actually one of the viewers alerted me to this stock and alerted me to this subreddit. So right now, um, after hours, it's not showing anything. It was showing six dollars. Now it's showing uh, five ninety after hours. So this is a small two hundred fifty one million dollar. Uh, company. The the Reddit, people are going crazy on the Reddit. So this is why my friend alerted me to this one. So I wanted to look into it and see, okay, well, what's going on here? What is here? So back in May 2016, uh, this was at 17 bucks. And then it probably, it probably had a bunch of failures. They do genetic therapies. This is like the next big thing. Kathy Woods from ARK, um, ARKG, this is all about like the future of uh, medicine really is genetic therapy. So let me go. I love Robin Hood because it gives you a concise and then see after hours on Robin Hood at 623, $6.23 and Yahoo, Yahoo just uh, updated too. So on Robin Hood, uh, there are also seven analyst ratings for what that's worth. And they all say buy 100% say buy. So let me give you a little history of the company. Applied Genetic Technologies Corp is a clinical stage biotech company, which engages in the development of gene therapy platform to develop transformational genetic therapies for patients suffering from rare and debilitating diseases. It has clinical trials in the field of ophthalmology, optogenics, and adrenoleukodystrophy and autology. The company was founded by Richard uh, Richard Samulski and a few other people in 1999 and his headquarters. So this company has been around for a while. It looks like it just went public. Let's go to the max and see. Um, looks like the last data on Yahoo Finance shows March 2014. Okay. And actually the peak in June was in the 30s. Okay, so now it's back down to five. You can see why people are getting excited if we've established, I mean, it's completely different pipeline now. We can go to clinicaltrials.gov and see what's currently going on. And we're gonna talk about that. So people on the Reddit are going crazy. There's a lot of long-term people in here. Some are saying they're just gonna hold it long-term. Others say they're gonna flip it because there are some catalysts coming up, um, which, I'm gonna see, uh, we're gonna talk about some potential catalysts. I always like catalysts when it comes to uh, biotechs because that's really what moves them is results, right? Phase one, phase two results, publications, partnerships, obviously approvals, obviously acquisitions. That's what moves. Those are catalysts that can really make or break some of these stocks. And as you can see by the chart, that thing has been uh, super volatile. I mean, from the thirties to the threes, the financials came out yesterday and the financials, they had a net loss of 15.5 million compared to a net loss of 8.6 million strong balance sheet, 53.1 million in cash, cash equivalents received net proceeds of approximately 69 million in February from an underwritten public offering. Current liquidity provides cash runway until year 2023. So if you look at their investor website, uh, they tell you their pipeline, okay? And it's a, its initial focus in the field of ophthalmology where it has active clinical trials in X-linked retinitis pigmentosa and acromatopsia. 
Uh, it, these are obviously rare conditions and, and underserved, which the FDA loves. In November of November of 2020, they received positive data from its phase one, two clinical trial in patients with X-linked retinitis. So if you, this is a quick way to see it on their actual website, programs and pipelines. The answer to genetic blindness begins with a clear vision. AGTC's clinical trials are research studies that are exploring potentially life-changing treatments for rare genetic eye disorders, including XLRP and acromatopsia. We are focused on genetic therapies that can restore visual function in patients with rare inherited conditions. If In many instances, if left untreated, these conditions can have a dramatic impact on patients' daily activities, um, which is obvious. This is There's a huge need for this. Right now, their XLRP, X-linked retinitis pigmentosa, is in phase two expansion. Uh, the next milestone is the data for this. Then you have ACHM, acromatopsia. It's in phase one, two. The next milestone is clinical data. And then they have uh, a similar one, just a different uh, gene modification, CNGA3, they're in phase one, two, the same thing. And then they also have in phase one, two, optogenics, bionic site. Uh, so they have a lot coming up. They got in proof of concept, loss of hearing uh, and deafness. And then they have age-related macular degeneration. So basically on the Reddit that I'm reading, uh, AGTC, let's, let's keep a couple things in mind. Let's stay grounded. There's a lot of hype this is all based on potential. There's really no fundamentals because they're very early in the clinical research process here, but there's a lot of upside here and uh, a lot of analysts. So they're losing their, their quarterly results call. Yesterday was considered positive because they're losing less. It's almost like they halved what they're losing from the previous quarter, uh, but that they're still losing money, guys. They have a runway for a couple of years which is good. You don't want biotechs going out of business, um, but it's the risk, guys. Uh, there are some catalysts coming up. So on Reddit, you know, people are saying uh, great earnings call, tons of leverage in their market, some due diligence. In July of 2020, Roth Capital analysts speculated AGTC could attract interest of a Sanofi buyout. On February 1st, 2021, that same analyst updated the price estimate from $30 to $35. On February 2nd, users on stock, twi stock twits were up in arms about AGTC stock stubbornly remaining at $4, even though there was a huge increase in volume. It later comes to light that Big Whales, BlackRock, and Empery Investments both made large purchases of AGTC stock on that day, which explains why the stock remained at $4. Um, and then they released their earnings today. Um, now, analysis on this... Uh, Based on the analyst at Roth Capital, and this is, again, somebody's opinion on Reddit, but somebody who's researched and done their due diligence, based on her, creden her credentials, I'm inclined to believe she has valuable insight into this field of biotech that we, the retail investors, do not. In September 2020, she raised the price estimate from $25 to $26. In November 2020, she raised it again from $26 to $30. Then finally, on February 1st, she raised it to $35. What could cause her to raise the price estimate in three times in six months? To this person, that means it's indicative of promising findings from AGTC's clinical trials. There hasn't been any information about the Sanofi buyout. Um, obviously, you're not going to have uh, that information. Next, we have large institutional shares purchasing in February of last year. Um, the earnings report, they are losing less money. Here's a, one of the uh, more negative comments from a Redditor. I work in biotech and appreciate companies doing work like this. There is a potential for huge gains. What we all need to remember as investors is the market is running hot. It may continue and finally redline until it corrects, not crash, but correct. I see no reason why AGTC should have a significant increase in value unless they show huge success in phase three that produces a product with sustained growth. What we also need to remember is they are producing products to cure rare diseases, not long-term treatment. This presents an interesting problem with long-term revenue generation because they are trying to cure it. I, to some extent, disagree with this person because I think we've seen from other biotechs that we've analyzed uh, over the past weeks and months, especially on the clinical research circle, good data, even from a phase two study, okay? 
which is coming up for both acromatopsia and XLRP, all right, uh, is enough to boost this thing, plus rumors of buyouts. I mean, there's enough catalyst here for this thing to pump. The market is right now in a February 11th, 2021 world for opportunities like this, right? With people on Reddit and then institutional investors getting in. All you need is like a little bit of good data, a little bit of promising data, which it looks like this, uh, what we're waiting for is the acromatopsia and the XLRP, both in phase one, two. And these are the studies on clinicaltrials.gov. It is 45 patients. They're expecting the primary completion date to be in December and the entire study completion date to be in December. So we can get results for that fairly quickly. Another primary completion date, September 21, 2021, for these two indications. In the pipeline, you have XLRP, acromatopsia, acromatopsia, bionic site, so these two are going to be driving the catalyst in 2021, probably in September. Phase one, two, they're going to get the clinical data for acromatopsia. And then phase one, two, they're going to get clinical data for acromatopsia as well. But like the Redditor said, this is a cure. So there's no real long-term recurring customer, you know, like big pharma is built on the model of treatments, better treatments and not cures. This is a little bit differently, but I could definitely see uh, how this thing could take off uh, fairly quickly. Uh, this could be a long, medium to long term, meaning you hold it a couple months, you wait till the results, or you wait right before the results, uh, and then you can get out prior to the results if there's enough hype and anticipation for the results, or you can hold it through the results and hope for positive results get a partnership or a buyout which has already been talked about uh, or you just trade it in the next few weeks based on the hype because i think there's going to be hype on this thing after hours it's up five percent still um and that's after a pump of almost 15 percent today so you may get a few days out of it i honestly don't know what i'm gonna do i mean obviously i'm gonna see how it goes in the short term meaning the next few days but uh i wouldn't be surprised if this goes to like 11 or 12 dollars in the next two three months um and then after that who knows i mean people are saying 35 so we don't know we all we know is the studies that are there we know the upcoming catalysts that are here we know that there are rumors about buyouts and all kinds of things. But there are two catalysts coming up in 2021, uh, which is always a good thing, especially at this low of a market, small of a market cap. And at this early of a stage, there's always opportunity for a buyout or just like a huge bump up in the stock price, like a gap up based on any good news in any capacity. So anyways, follow this one, not financial advice. Uh, and let me know what you think in the comments. Talk to you later.